it's me hi guys I'm going to bring another video to you guys today that video is going to be my least favorite books of 2017 so I wanted to upload a lot of videos to start out with so that you guys can see me see what I'm like see what I like to read but going forward I'm probably only going to upload one or two videos a week I think that's a pretty good uploading schedule I think you'll be able to get to know me better, I'll be able to get to know you better, and we'll be able to communicate a lot more. So without further ado, here are my least favorite books of 2017. They are in no particular order. They are all two star books. I didn't have any one star books in 2017, which is great. The first book is Leave Me by Gail Foreman. I did not like this book. I thought that the character was super selfish. I thought she was... I just didn't like her. She was a terrible person. Um, she leaves her kids and her husband because she wants to find herself, which I think if it had been done better, I would have appreciated it more, but it was not done well. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought of it. The next book we have is The 15 Lives of Harry August. This book was just, it just never ended. I thought it was way longer than it needed to be and it's not even a long book like don't get me wrong it's not a chunker and I just wanted Harry to die already which sounds terrible but I don't like books that are about like time travel no let me rephrase that I don't like books that are super heavily into time travel and I don't like books where the character relives their life over and over and over again I thought it was very much trying to be like Doctor Who and wasn't very good. It is very much a timey-wimey book and I think some of the I think some of the reveals were good. I just ultimately didn't like this book. The next book we have is A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lupina. This book I really wanted to love. I liked her other book, The Couple Next Door, but this one just didn't live up to it. I didn't like any of the characters. I thought the motives were really dumb. It's a thriller, but I don't think it's a thriller that's done very well, and I wouldn't recommend it. But let me know what you thought of it, because I know that the reviews are pretty scattered. I know a lot of people liked it, and I know a lot of people didn't love it. And then we have The Other Typist by Susan Rendell, and this book was just boring. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the characters. I thought they were all pretty awful and the plot twist at the end just wasn't what it could have been. We have The Jungle Book and this was just a classic that I didn't enjoy. As far as classics goes they're pretty hit or miss with me. I think I will stick to the Disney movie because that's great. I loved that. Next we have Breakfast at Tiffany's. Disclaimer, I've never actually seen the movie. I wanted to read the book because I know the movie's really hyped but as far as the book goes I hated it. I hated the characters. They're all pretty terrible and I really just don't know what he was trying to get at. Another one that I just didn't like and it's another classic is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I just hated the characters. They're terrible. They are anti-women. They're very racist and I know it's the time period that it's set in but I still didn't like it. Um, it's still terrible so I was actually looking forward to it. I heard nothing but good things, but I didn't like it. And then we have one that's going to be pretty controversial. I know a lot of people really love this book, and a lot of people really love this movie, and that is Howl's Moving Castle. I really do want to see the movie, but as far as the book goes, it just didn't hit the mark for me. I can see why people love it though, but as far as middle grade goes, it's hit or miss with me. I am not a huge middle grade reader. And then we have Nudge. Nudge is a nonfiction kind of lifestyle book that I had to read for school. It's by Richard Thaler and Cass Sunstein. It has some pretty interesting messages and I can appreciate those messages but I just didn't agree with a lot of what the authors had to say and I didn't really like the book. Second to last is Startup by Dory Shaffrey. This was one I got on Audible and I was expecting to really like it. I think one of the downsides is that it follows a lot of characters and a lot of those characters are doing some really random things and doesn't really fit with the story. I think that 
the ending didn't wrap up at all and I think that is part of the reason why I didn't like it is because it just kind of ended and I just didn't like any of the characters and it had like six or seven characters that it followed that might be an exaggeration it might have only been four but I didn't like any of them and the last book this is gonna be a big one I'm probably gonna get so much hate for this and I apologize but I can understand why people liked it I can I I will admit that and that book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. Now before anyone says anything, I just want to say that I love her Throne of Glass series. Now I know that series has some pretty controversial issues going on with them. I recognize those issues. I know that they're there, but I still really enjoy the series. It's kind of like junk food where you know it's bad for you, you know the problems with it, but you still eat it anyway. And I will continue to love that series. As, but I will definitely acknowledge that it's not perfect and that there are things that could be a lot better. As far as A Court of Thrones and Roses goes, I just didn't like it. I didn't like Farrah. I didn't like the two love interests. They were pretty flat characters for me. I found myself just rolling my eyes at a lot of the things. And the ending, I just, I don't know. I have a friend that loves this series and she said that the first book kind of sucks but the other two are great and that I should read those. But I don't know if I want to invest my time in them because they're pretty chunky and with how I felt about this book I just don't know if it's worth it. So let me know. Maybe you guys can persuade me. I know this is beloved. I know a lot of people like it and I can see why and I'm really happy if you liked it. It just wasn't the book for me. And again I didn't hate it. It was a two-star book, so it was just okay. I just don't think I'll continue on with this series. I actually unhauled it. That's how much I didn't like it. So those are my least favorite books of 2017. Let me know what your least favorite books were and what your favorite books were. And let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought. If you have any video recommendations that you want to see me do, let me know and I will do them or I will try my best to do them. Bye guys. Have a good one.